Have you heard about black holes? That's what I'm going to talk about today. Hello everybody! I'm Franco Carrillo and welcome to Mega Franco TV! Franco Trivia number 11! As you can see, I'm in the beach right now. And look at the view in the sky, it's so nice. <laughs> look at the moon, guys, it's so nice, right? <laughs> and look, there are even stars at the top, look. Did you know that stars don't really twinkle? <laughs> yes, guys. Well, they just appear to twinkle or change color when you see them. It is because of the movement of the air in the Earth's atmosphere, or sometimes called turbulence. Yep, that's right. And guys, did you know that a star can also die too? Yes, you heard it right. Well, most stars take millions or even billions of years to die. Stars are huge luminous spheres of plasma. They are made up of hydrogen and helium. All stars eventually run out of their hydrogen gas fuel and die. And once there is no fuel left, the star collapses. Oh no! But with larger stars, as the hydrogen runs out, they will expand and become a red giant. Yes, they swell into red super giants. While most stars quietly fade away, the, the super giants destroy themselves into a big explosion. They blow themselves apart in a huge explosion. Yes, and it's called the supernova. A supernova is an explosion of a star. It is a powerful explosion that takes place in the end of the star cycle of life. It is the largest explosion that takes place in the outer space. Whoa, that's amazing. <laughs> and guys, did you know that when a massive star dies, it can form a black hole. Yes, you heard that right. Well, actually, not all black holes are formed when a star dies. There are other types of black holes, but most black holes form from the remnants of a large star that dies in a supernova explosion. Black holes form when the massive star collapses into itself. These sucking holes are created when a massive star reaches the end of its life and explodes. When a huge star reaches the end of its life, it will then collapse and explode, turning to a black hole. And it will suck everything that goes near to it. What is a black hole anyway? For those of you who don't know black holes, black holes are actually mysterious black holes sucking holes in outer space. They're actually so black that you might cannot see them in your way if you're floating in space and they will suck you in. Well, they're not actually a hole. They're actually a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. This can happen when a star is dying. They're actually a dead star that can no longer shine. And because its gravitational pull is very strong, everything that gets too close to it will be sucked in right away or, if, or might be stretched apart and ripped into tiny pieces. There are no other objects in the universe that is more extreme than a black hole. That sounds crazy. Black holes can be big or small. Scientists think that the smallest black holes are as small as just one tiny atom. These black holes are very tiny, but have the mass of a large mountain. Whoa! Strangely enough, small black holes are stronger than big black holes. The gravity of small black holes is much stronger than the bigger ones. Even when 
you are still so far from the tiny black hole, it will try to grab you already and stretch you apart and slash mm. into tiny pieces. And anything from outside the event horizon that crosses inside will never get out. The outline of a black hole is called event horizon. The event horizon of the black hole is the boundary where the gravitational pull becomes so strong that even light cannot escape. Nothing can escape once a certain boundary is crossed. And as you dive deep into it, you will reach singularity, the center of a black hole. In there, you'll be squashed and you'll never return ever. Even though you have, you carry a phone to message your like family or something, no signal can be can come back already because the black hole makes sure that. No information has ever came out of it. Nothing even light can escape a black hole. Nothing even if you move at the speed of light, you cannot escape a black hole. Even Flash, the superhero that we know, cannot escape a black hole. Or even Sonic the Hedgehog in space. Yes, even if we try to build something that can go faster than the speed of light, Sorry, that's impossible. Only movies can have that. Did you know guys that the first photo of a black hole has finally been captured? They thought it was impossible, but actually, it is possible. Yes, you heard it right. And this is how it looks like. But it's actually the shadow of the black hole because the black hole is nothing, just darkness. Just the smoke around it since Black hole is nothingness. Black holes are invisible. We can't see a black hole itself, but we can spot it when there's a star close by. Even if black holes are invisible, stars can get squashed in the black hole and get ripped into tiny atom pieces. Even if big stars that are so big to come near it, the black hole will rip the star into tiny pieces of atoms and suck it inside. Yes, black holes are super strong. There have been a lot of theories already about black holes. And guys, some people say that black holes were actually wormholes. When you pass the singularity, you'll see everything back again. And then, as if you came in another universe or another dimension or something. Oh. It's just a theory anyway. People can't determine it, right? And guys, did you know that there are also some theories about White holes, yes. If black holes suck in everything, white holes will burp out everything. Some people say that if something entered a black hole, it will come out in a white hole. But that's just a theory. What if there are two connected? But we don't know because we don't know if they do exist. But we all know that black holes do exist, except if, except we don't know white holes exist. Did you know that the nearest black hole was just discovered last year? It's about 1,000 light years away. Yes, that's true. That might not sound very close, but on the scale of the universe, it's actually right next door. The black hole that was recently discovered is closer to our solar system than any other found to date. Oh, that sounds scary. But don't worry, it's not too close enough to pose any kind of threat. <sighs> One has to be very close enough to be sucked in. Phew! <sighs> well, even though black holes are invisible, it is one of the strangest and most fascinating objects in outer space. Black holes are among the most mysterious objects in the universe. Right, guys? I love black holes, except that I don't want to be sorry. <laughs> and now for our Franco Trivia question of the day. What do you call a massive explosion when a massive star dies? And it is also the largest explosion that takes place in outer space. Hmm. Comment your best answers down below. And here's our shout out from our previous Franco Trivia question of the day. What do you call a dominant male parrotfish that leads the entire school of female parrotfish? And the correct answer is... Dun, 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 dun. 
super males. Yay! <laughs> Shout out to Liam Arnado, Ione Ronces Valles, and a Rome. Yay! Hey, great job, guys. See you on our next trivia video. That's all for today, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Mega Franco TV. <laughs> They're moving like a fish. Not the one floating, okay, guys. The one under there. That one's a fish. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to like and follow my Facebook page. It's Franco Carmelio. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> See you in my next video. Bye.